Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to change clothes in a photo with AI. So if you're wondering if you can change your clothes and in a photo using AI, well, it's actually possible. So we'll be using a tool called Adobe Firefly for this one. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So yeah, so get it started. First thing you want to do is you want to go ahead over to google.com and you want to search for Adobe Firefly. Like here you have the first link here that says Adobe Firefly generative AI for creatives. Just go ahead and open that up. And from here, let's just close this pop up here. Now in here, what you need to do is you want to click on explore Firefly, which is currently in beta. And we want to choose the option that says generative fill here. So just click on generate. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to sign in into our account. So if you don't have an account yet, it's pretty easy. You could use your Google account for this one. Since I use my Google account to sign in or sign up with Google, with uh, Adobe Firefly, let's just choose continue with Google here. And here, let's just choose the account that you want to use and wait for this to load up. So once it loads up, it's going to give us this UI here. Just click on agree and skip. Right now, what we need to do next is we want to upload the image that we want to edit. So let's just upload a new image here and choose this one and click on open. Now in here, we want to change a few things. So if you want to change your background, well, the way Firefly would be a great option for you. So in this example, let's just change the background for this one. So let's just say we want to have a background for a snowy BC city. So also once you click on that, as you can see, there's now a checkered background. So it means this is the background that's going to be filled whenever we do or enter our prompt here. So in this case, let's just say a BC city and snowing. And from here, just click on generate to start generation process. So I do have to inform you that's, that this might take a few seconds or even a few minutes, depending on the server's current status right now. So if not a lot of people using Adobe Firefly at the moment, then the processing speed will be a lot faster, but it actually depends. So let's just wait for this to completely load up. As you can see, the background was now updated. So you could choose for, with one of the uh, set, uh, settings here or the genera generated uh, output here. But let's just use the first one here. So I think this is the best one right now. And from here, just click on keep to keep our changes. Now in here, we want to basically add. So for example, if you want to change the clothes, oh, so let's just click on add here and we want to have this brush here, which will be automatically be in our mouse here. So you need to highlight that specific section that you want to add. So for example, let's just highlight this section here. For example, this hand and this torso as well as the whole body. So once you've completely highlighted that specific section, we could start adding or changing our clothes here. So let's just very quickly highlight this one. So I would suggest that you highlight as accurate as you can so that you'll be able to give or have the best output for your image. As you can see, so it's not yet highlighted to the fullest now here we want to describe what we want to have here. So since this is currently snowing, we want to change the clothes, maybe uh, a jacket. Let's say winter jacket for this one and just hit on generate. And let's just wait for this one. So again, it might take a few seconds or even a few minutes. So let's just wait successfully been generated. As you can see, we were able to successfully change the clothes here. So there's a few options that you could use as well. As you can see, this jacket here or even this jacket here. So I think this is the best one right now. So yeah, if you want to keep this specific image, just click on Kip. So yeah, so that's how you change your clothes here for Adobe using Adobe Firefly, which is a great tool that you could use for free. 
Now, like for example, if you want to change this ad to address, so make sure that you highlight the whole area here just to make sure that we include everything. So let's just generate a dress real quickly. So in here, and we want to edit, uh, input our prompt here, the dress, and just click on generate. And here you'll see the generated output. So as you can see, the first output is not that good. So sometimes it's going to happen. So that's why we have a few options here. So here, the second one is kind of good. The third one is kind of good, but you could press on the more button here if if you want more options or if you're not satisfied satisfied with the images, you could do that. So here, let's just wait for this one. As you can see, this dress is a lot better as you can see right now. So if you want to save your images or you generate it here, just click on keep now. And here you'll see the download at the top right, just click on it. And from here, you will see this UI here. It's going to give you a few things to remember when you're downloading something from Adobe Firefly. So it's going to add a um, specific logo at the bottom left. So let's just uh, click on continue and it's going to be downloaded. It's going to add that content. And when we open this one, this is the image and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.